Bom dia, good afternoon, good evening guys. Welcome to the Bitcoin Family YouTube channel. For the newcomers, my name is Didi Taihutu. Yes, you might recognize me, my wife and my other kids from four years ago when we went all into Bitcoin after selling our house, our companies, our shoes, our clothes, literally everything we owned, all in Bitcoin and started traveling the world. Now, four years later, still traveling the world, coming to you guys from the area of Lagos in Portugal, where it is very dangerous because there are a lot of cliffs here and my kid loves to walk on the edge of these cliffs. In today's video, I'm going to talk about the Bitcoin charts. I'm going to show you which companies are holding which Bitcoins and which exchange are holding which Bitcoins. I was also talking about some blockchain news about Mt. Gox that is now paying back their people or should be paying back the people. But this was again extended and also talking about the Sorare Fantasy Soccer Platform that now onboarded St. Petersburg. So 15 of their players now become trading cards on the Sorare platform so they will become NFTs. A lot of information, a lot of cool charts, so enjoy today's video again and of course sharing some beautiful views of Portugal. Enjoy it guys! So let's start with the family part guys. Yesterday evening I picked up Hans from the airport. Hans is a Dutchie, fellow Dutchie Bitcoiner as well. And yes, we went to the Quinta Dochi to celebrate the birthday of Edwin and his twin brother. And of course I gave them some alcohol because of course uh, alcohol is always a good present to give to people. We went to the Quinta Dochi, beautiful place again. We met so many lovely people over there. A lot of Dutch people with really cool humor. So I had stomach ache from the laughing so much we need to laugh. It was a beautiful evening. Of course some wines, not too many because I still need to drive home. And we came home safely. So we fell into a deep sleep and this morning I woke up a little bit later around 8 o'clock and then had some beautiful breakfast together with Hans. Um, he still needs to find an apartment, so going to search for one today. And then we went with Jessa to the skate court and now walking these beautiful cliffs talking to you guys about Bitcoin, blockchain and life. There's not a lot of family news in today's video. The only thing I'm going to share with you guys is, yes, in this video, again, a QR code is hidden somewhere in the video. When you find the QR code and you scan the QR code, you receive 50 family tokens. Five of you guys receive 50 family tokens. So make sure you watch the whole video, find this QR code, scan it, and you are the proud owner of 50 family tokens and you belong to this crazy cool huge worldwide bitcoin family yes these family tokens are really cool to own because then you get access to our telegram group discord group you can get shout outs you can get your music below our videos and many more things in the future so make sure you get some family tokens that was all the family part guys so let's move on to the bitcoin part the Bitcoin part is the part where I will bump you with some cool Bitcoin and other crypto charts, guys. Let's go to the Bitcoin part. Bam! First thing I want to talk to you guys about in the Bitcoin part is that do you know that 10.6% of all the Bitcoins are held in the five biggest centralized exchanges? These five exchanges are Coinbase, Kraken, OKEx, Yobi and of course Binance. Coinbase is leading. They hold 944,000 Bitcoins 
and that amount of bitcoins is spread across 4.3 million different addresses. Then second is Huobi with 323,000 bitcoins and those 323,000 bitcoins are spread across 900,000 different wallets. Then we get Binance with 289,000 bitcoins. They are holding 289,000 bitcoin in 2.7 million different bitcoin wallet addresses. Then closely behind Binance is OKEX with 276,000 bitcoins. That's very close to Binance. I think OKEX can even overtake Binance in the near future because OKEX is holding those 276,000 bitcoins just on 340,000 different addresses. A lot of whales holding their bitcoins on OKEX. And the last one is Kraken with 126,000 bitcoins. And that one is spread across 170,000 different Bitcoin wallet addresses. So that's the top five exchanges holding 10.6% of all the Bitcoins around. That guys is without calculating the Bitcoins that might be lost. Because if it is true that like the Bitcoins that didn't move for longer than five years, that's like about 3.7 million Bitcoins, if they would be lost, then this amount of Bitcoins that these five centralized exchanges are holding is 15% of all the Bitcoins that have been mined till today. Really cool info, so let's move on to the first really cool chart. This one, BAM! On this chart, guys, you can see the compression of the volume in Bitcoin. As you can see, if you look to the left on the chart, the last time we saw a compression in the volume, this line coming down in the volume, you can see it from high to low, then it broke out of this line, of this trend line. Then the Bitcoin price moved all the way from the 8K region to the 12K region. That's a huge jump. If you now look to the right on the chart to today, you can again see this trend line coming down, compression of the volume. And now we are about to break out of this trend line again. So we could see another huge Bitcoin move to the upside, but be to be clear, it can also be a Bitcoin move to the downside. So, or we are going to retest 12K or 13K or even 14K if it is a huge move, or we could fall back to 10K or even 9K. If we take a look at this one hour chart, guys, it's a really cool thing that you can see. Let's take a look at the one hour chart. Yes, I already want to do BAM, but I'm going to do the BAM now. One, two, three, BAM! Yeah. <laughs> oh my God, Didi, you even forget to BAM when you need to BAM now. That's why I'm creating a BAM indicator, a DD BAM and a DD BAM BAM indicator. I will soon share this indicator with you guys because this indicator is telling you when to buy and when to sell your Bitcoins. And yes, the indicator has been proving in history to make some profits for some people, also including me. Now that I am confident that the indicator is doing okay, I am going to share it with you guys. Of course, it will be shared in the discord group in the group if you hodl a certain amount of family tokens then you get free access to this indicator um, but let me figure out the exact price and all that stuff i still need to figure out how to structureize all of it I, we are now testing we already have like two or three members now in the bitcoin family telegram group the one where you need to own one family token and this is working fine but i'm structurizing and streamlining the whole process and i will keep you up to date with every move i make in this whole process but guys on this bam hourly chart you can see now that we are moving around eleven thousand four hundred dollars with the bitcoin price this is a very important level or we are going to break to the upside and we are going to break 11,500 and take it to 11,700 and maybe even try to take it to 12K. Or we are going to break to the downside. And if we are going to break to the downside, we will find support at 11,200. After that, the support will be 11,000. And after that, the biggest support is still around 10,500 US dollar per Bitcoin. So no worries if we dip to 10,500 US dollar per Bitcoin, we are just gathering some more friends some more buying power to buy more bitcoins at these beautiful prices a lot of people have their buy orders already waiting around 10,500 to 11,000 so they will be automatically filled when we drop to that price and that will make sure that the price again will move above 11,000 US dollar per bitcoin so no worries you need to zoom out on the charts and if you want to zoom out to the charts please watch yesterday's video or the video of the day before yesterday because in the previous two videos guys I explained to you guys 
what I expect to happen to Bitcoin if you zoom out to the charts. I expect really cool things to happen in the next one, two, three, four years. So yes, zooming out into the charts. So if you're stressing and freaking out on these hourly charts I talk about every day, then sometimes you need to watch these videos just to get peace of mind again. So make sure you watch the video. You can see now there on the screen, that one is yeah. Click it and watch that video if you want to see the big picture in Bitcoin and how we can see a 100k price and a 1 million price in the future. And in the future, I am talking between now and five years. And guys, if you do like to trade like these hourly charts and this indicator that I'm going to share with you soon, then make sure you sign up to Prime XBT, guys, because Prime XBT signing up using my referral link, you will receive a 50% deposit bonus. That is a shitload of bonus just to trade some extra it's a really cool exchange where you can also start to copy trade other traders or where you can play the turbo game or where you can just trade yourselves manually and then yes use these indicators in the future so sign up to prime xbt now get your 50 percent deposit bonus and try this really cool exchange that was all the information guys about the charts so let's move on to the next chapter of the video yes the blockchain slash new part bam I only have two short items in this part of the video guys. One of the items is that the Mt. Gox trustee reimburse plan again got extended to December 2020. So yes, a lot of people are still waiting to get their money back that they lost when Mt. Gox collapsed guys. But again, they need to wait some longer. They need to wait two or three months longer till the end of this year before they can get their money back. The lawyer handling this whole Mt. Gox case stated that he has 150,000 bitcoins waiting to pay paid back to all the Mt. Gox victims. So 150,000 bitcoins will be paid back to all the Mt. Gox victims, which means that if in December court says, yes, Mt. Gox needs to pay back all these people, 150,000 bitcoins will re-enter the market and probably a lot of these people don't trust Bitcoin anymore because, you know, they lost a lot because of Mt. Gox. So they could be selling their Bitcoins at that point. Hopefully it was a lot of whales that still trust Bitcoin and that are not going to sell this 150,000 Bitcoins. And still, if they were selling it, 150,000 Bitcoins nowadays is almost nothing anymore because we are talking about millions of Bitcoins that are being traded at the moment. So let's see how this whole Mt. Gox story will evolve in the next couple of months. And then the second item, guys, is something that I love. Two passions combined, soccer, I refer to it as football, and crypto. Yes, there is a Sorare. Sorare is a Japanese fantasy soccer platform where you can exchange NFTs and do all these management tasks in this fantasy soccer game. And now Zenit St. Petersburg from Russia, they entered this fantasy league as well, which makes it a really cool league. Paris Saint-Germain already on board it, Juventus, Atletico Madrid, and many more other clubs already joined the Sorare platform, which makes it a really cool worldwide fantasy soccer league um, that you can start to play now. And yes, you can now also collect these 15 player cars from Zenit St. Petersburg. These players now have cars, we call them NFTs, and they have a value. So you can start to exchange these player cars all over the world with all these other player cars that are now in this game. Torado at the moment has about 40,000 players worldwide. So already 40,000 players joined the Sorare platform to play fantasy. That was the last item of today, guys. I hope you really enjoyed today's video. If you did like today's video, give it a thumbs up share it with your friends and family, subscribe to our channel, hit the notification bell, and please leave a comment because I love to respond to your comments. I want to thank you guys for watching and always want to remember you to zoom out in crypto and to zoom in and zoom. try to enjoy life every single minute of the day as that is exactly what makes life worth living. I am going to zoom out now and walk around here with my wife and Jessa and Hans, that I, the guy I picked up yesterday, and I'm going to enjoy this beautiful walk here in this beautiful country, Portugal. Thanks for watching again and hopefully see you tomorrow again. Bye! Just discovered a beautiful black rock. I don't know how it's called. If you know the name of this black rock, if you comment below the name of this black rock where I'm walking, I will give you a really cool 
discount coupon 100% discount coupon for one of the t-shirts in our store so if you can name BlackRock I'm going to show you in 20 seconds about 20 seconds you can win a free t-shirt because I'm going to randomly select one of you guys out there that gave the correct comment below I want to know the name of the rock I'm going to show you in a minute almost there and then BAM a black rock Let me know what is the name of this exact rock here at the Algarve near Lagos, Portugal. 